He has taken the English Premier League by storm and has literally destroyed top clubs with a modest squad. Roberto De Zerbi is running the show at Brighton and his tactical lifestyle is simply unbelievable. But just how did he revolutionize his managerial career and what's actually going on behind the scenes? We'll quickly take you around his private lifestyle, expensive properties, salary, and all there is to know about the man. Roberto De Zerpi was born in the picturesque town of Brescia, Italy on June 6, 1979. Raised in a closely knit family, young Roby was clearly obsessed with football. His father recognized this and quickly supported his dreams when he got a little older. You see, Roberto's parents weren't very rich. They literally made their living by selling floor cleaning appliances and roto wash. Still, they did their best to give Roberto a memorable childhood. We don't really know much about his siblings because he's never mentioned them in interviews and the same goes for his mother. Luckily his father is quite popular. While growing up in Montpiano, Roberto was regarded to be a little genius. His father, Alfredo De Zerpi, served as his first coach and mentor from drawing up experience from hundreds of matches that he had watched over the years. Roberto soon discovered Diego Maradona and idolized the legend because of his skills. Further motivated by his idol to pick up the sport, Roberto spent hours practicing as a little kid. Another thing that influenced Roberto's love for the game was the location of his family house. You see, they lived very close to the Regimonti Stadium, which belonged to Brescia Calcio. As expected, everyone supported Brescia. Robbie would frequently follow his father to the stadium to get a piece of the action. As the president of the Brescia Club Coordination Center, Saturdays and Sundays were sacred days for Alfredo. During Brescia's home games, Alfredo would mobilize fan support and put everyone in a good mood. Seeing his pop do all these, Roberto became even more inspired to make a career out of football, but uh, it didn't quite turn out to be what he expected. Roberto De Zerbi had his youth career at AC Milan, and opportunities were few and far in between, so he didn't get to play a lot of games. In 1998, when he was 18, Roberto was shipped out on loan to lower division clubs, and he literally spent four years as a journeyman. First, he was loaned to Monza for the 1998 and 1999 season before joining Padova on a season-long loan. There, he played as an attacking midfielder and scored five goals in 23 appearances. Not too bad, I guess. Unfortunately, he would leave the club after a year to join Avellino and then Salernitana and then Leco, hardly making any appearances in these clubs. From 2002 to 2006, De Zerbi would then make dozens of appearances for Foggia, Arezzo, and Catania with impressive results, but really his big break came in 2006 when Napoli signed him, but sadly things didn't go so well in Napoli, and his 2.5 million euro signing pissed off the club's owners, but hey, he got to play in the same club that his idol did. After several poor performances, Napoli finally decided to let him go, and Roberto continued with his merry-go-round before calling Tom on a largely forgettable playing career in 2013. Roberto de Zerbi then went into coaching, and his managerial career looked to resemble his playing days. He served as manager at Darfo Boario for the 2013 and 14 season before spending the next two seasons at Foggia. In September 2016, Roberto de Zerpi finally landed his first significant managerial role where he was the head coach at Palermo in the Serie A. But again, bad luck just seemed to follow him and things ended badly. Palermo suffered seven consecutive and terrible losses and didn't even win any points at home. Palermo had to get rid of him less than three months into his appointment. After this setback, Roberto had some serious character development. He was away for almost 12 months. During this time, he learned possession-based attacking football from Pep Guardiola. In October 2017, Roberto made a comeback and became the head coach at Benevento, but the team got relegated. Roberto then jumped ship to Sassuolo, and finally Roberto was on a roll. The team was praised for their attack in football, and he was able to influence the rise of players like Domenico Berardi, Gianluca Scamacca, and Manuel Locatelli during his tenure at Sassuolo. In his three seasons with the club, Sassuolo earned two consecutive eighth place spots in the Italian top flight. Roberto De Zerbi then spent a season in Ukraine with Shakhtar Donetsk and led the team to the Ukrainian Super Cup, but left after Russia invaded Ukraine. In September 2022, Deserpi took Graham Potter as Brighton's manager on a four-year contract. Roberto guided Brighton to their FA Cup semi-final, where they lost to Manchester United on penalties. Last season, Brighton secured a top seven finish and qualified for Europe for the first time in its history. But that's enough football for now. Let's see what's going on in Deserpi's life. Roberto Deserpi has kept his personal life relatively private, but we know that he is a dedicated family man. He's married to his longtime partner, Eliza De Zerpi, and together they have two children who were born in the 2000s. 
Even though Roberto doesn't say much about his wife, he managed to spill a little info about her once during an interview where he was talking about how he handles transfer targets. He said, even my wife says I've never courted her as I do with a transfer target. Roberto De Zerbi once said, I have given everything to football. It almost makes him sound like a prude. Off the pitch, De Zerbi enjoys spending his free time immersed in football-related activities, whether it's analyzing matches, studying tactics, or mentoring young talents. He is almost always onto something. Of course, he loves Italian cuisine, but the real question is, who wouldn't? Roberto has a verified Facebook account with over 40,000 followers, but isn't very active on social media. Over the years, numerous unverified Instagram accounts with his name have sprung up, but we don't know if any of them belong to him. And as you would expect, the Zerpi has not made any headlines for owning extravagant properties. By now, it's pretty obvious that he prefers to be low-key. So even if he had a fleet of cars, we probably wouldn't know much about it because this guy right here has taken the definition of privacy to a whole new level. However, we expect a football maestro of his caliber to be very comfortable. De Zerbi's net worth primarily stems from his career as a football coach. While precise figures may not be publicly available, his net worth is around the ballpark of $12 million. During his time at Shakhtar, he earned 1.5 million pounds, and now at Brighton, the manager's salary is around 2 million pounds annually. Who says this man cannot become one of the highest paid managers in the world in the coming years? We know that when disaster struck in Ukraine, the manager didn't leave until all of his players and their family were safe. Wouldn't be surprised if he has a number of charitable activities on the side. But like almost every sports personality out there, we can point to one or two controversies that Zerbi has been involved in. During Brighton's match against Tottenham Hotspur, earlier this year, Roberto publicly threw a tantrum at Spurs interim manager Christian Stellini. When the issue was looked into, Stellini claimed that Roberto has always been very aggressive, reacting angrily whenever he tried to challenge him. I guess the tension must have gotten the better of our Brighton man. Back in February, Roberto De Zerbi was sent off by the referee Darren England after Brighton's 1-0 home defeat against Fulham. The manager was shown red for complaining that he had lost time to prepare for the match because of a refereeing meeting during the week. He then went on to say in the post-match interview that the level of refereeing in the Premier League was very bad and then criticized Darren England for not having a good attitude. The Derpy was subsequently banned from the touchline for one game and then the FA fined him for £15,000. But that's as much trouble as we've seen from the Italian. And for those of you who don't already know, the Derpy is multilingual. In addition to his native Italian, he is quite fluent in English and speaks Spanish as well. But considering his studious nature, and also how well he applies himself to the game, how far do you see Roberto De Zerbi going with Brighton this season? 